back in the office today. So today we're going to talk about trimethoprim. Trimethoprim is a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor, an antibiotic. Um, it's very narrow spectrum, so normally it's only used against UTI infections, although it does have good activity against Shigella and Salmonella species that cause gastroenteritis. And it can be used for chest infections or also bone infections in quite rare cases. There's a lot of problems with resistance against trimethoprim, so it tends to be less widely used in the UK than it was, for instance, 10 years ago. Okay, but it's quite useful for UTIs still. It can be used for three days and it tends to clear up any kind of uh, urinary tract infections in women, as long as they're uncomplicated. With trimethoprim, there's a few contraindications. You need to avoid its use in patients who have blood dyscrasias, so patients with, say, typical cell anemia, leukemia, lymphoma. And that's because trimethoprim can, in very rare cases, cause agranulocytosis. So any patients on long-term treatment, for instance, it's often used as a prophylactic agent against UTIs. They need to be counseled to spot the signs of a blood dyscrasia, so anything like a rash, sore throat high temperature they need to be reporting to the GP much more quickly than the average patient in the population. Trimethoprim can also be combined with a drug called sulfamethoxazole to create cotrimoxazole and that's a much more potent antibiotic. It tends to be reserved these days for the treatment of pneumocystis gyrovechiae um, which is a common pathogen amongst immunocompromised hosts. It's actually a yeast infection and it does cause pneumonia in patients with HIV. It can be used for the prophylaxis or treatment of that disorder itself. The only problem with uh, cotrimoxazole is you're much more likely to get the side effects of agranulocytosis than you are with trimethoprim alone. So you need to be much more cautious and it, that's the reason the drug is currently reserved in patients. Well, one last thing to remind, remember about trimethoprim is the fact that you shouldn't give it to any patient who's also receiving methotrexate because methotrexate also re works on the folate pathway and they actually have a synergistic negative effect on patients so they can cause severe agranulocytosis very quickly if they're administered together. Thank you very much.